Good morning, Lionheart84 here. It's um, 26th of December, day after Christmas Day. Um, we know it as Boxing Day here in the UK. I uh, don't think that's necessarily the case in lots of other uh, countries, but I just thought I'd have to take a quick break from the uh, Christmas uh, lunch preparation I'm doing today, uh, just to give a quick winter update on the... Uh, on the plants and they're over wintering in the kitchen on the, my tropical fruits to see how they're doing um, so there's a little report um, the Sharon Moyers are doing very well they seem to quite like the dry atmosphere here in the kitchen these are the seed grown ones that you can see their uh, tallest ones getting on for sort of seven to eight feet tall so it's probably two and a half meters um, they've got all their leaves on at the moment the Sharon Moyers are one of the Custard apple, sugar apple family actually tend to drop their leaves in the spring and have a, a very short rest for about a month or so. I mean, they're fully evergreen at the moment, but they normally drop their leaves here in sort of February to March time and then leaf out again in April. And their growth habits are quite unusual because actually the uh, the buds, I don't know if you can see, but the buds actually seem to... Uh, come from underneath the leaf stalks when the leaves fall off so I guess that's the growth habit uh, I believe the other custard apples tend to keep their leaves except in very cold conditions they're doing very well no disease problems with them um, there's my guava I have had some issues with this um, it attracted a, an attack of thrips in the kitchen I suppose because of the dry atmosphere um, which has caused quite a few uh, problems with sort of rust spotting on the leaves and um, the plant seems to be doing okay I've sprayed it with neem oil which seems to have got rid of the thrips but um, I'll keep an eye on it to see if they come back again but no it'll leaf out and recover in the spring when it goes outside had an issue with the lime as well which is hidden away underneath the other plants there you can probably just about see there's some flower buds coming out but that was attacked by scale insects i've sprayed that with neem oil as well which seems to have um, done a controlling job but i'll keep an eye on it um, the problem with them being close together here is the plants is problem is the uh, diseases can tend to spread but um, in actual fact i've got the grapefruit almost next to the lime and that hasn't had any scale on it at all um, hasn't started growing yet it's a little bit too early in the season but um, it seems to be reasonably healthy and dormancy um, most of the other plants are obviously not going to be growing because it's December, it's the middle of winter here in the UK, short hours. Uh, the exception to that seems to be the rose apple, which um, has decided that despite being December and no light and not particularly warm, that it's going to throw out an absolute uh, tonne of new growth. So I'm very pleased that it's got about six inches growth on it so far. It's looking very, very healthy. Um, no sign of anything happening with the others which is fine there's i've got a couple of uh, cherry molars which are i think cherry moyer and uh, an owner crosses mangoes looking healthy no diseases there i've had a little bit of growth on the ice bean tree in winter which i'm quite pleased about um, and there is signs of you can see new buds coming out on my other guava which is um, one i purchased in uh, the autumn when it was dormant anyway um, have had some growth on the uh, on the um, I've forgotten its name now temporarily it's terrible carambola but uh, it's a star uh, star apple that's doing very well should be okay when it goes out in the spring um, star fruit not star apple It'd be helpful if I've got the names right papayas a little bit yellow but seems to be surviving they definitely don't like growing indoors it's uh, always a problem with them but everything else considering all things considered so the lack of light here and um, the cool temperatures everything's doing fairly well um, may even get some flowers on the cherimoyas this year remains to be seen because they are a substantial size in fact one of them actually formed a flower bud you can probably just about see there um, obviously it's dried out and not open because it's December um, won't get any fruits on them it's far too plants are far too young but I suppose they'll get some flowers this year um, other than that uh, I've been working uh, on my uh, meal today which I'm preparing for family that are coming over just to show you that uh, I, despite the fact that I'm making a video on Boxing Day I am actually in the Christmas spirit because um, here's my uh, Christmas table that's been laid. Just wanted to say Happy Christmas to anybody who happens to look at my video. I know I haven't got many followers, but uh, 
it's uh, all looking nice and ready and I'm feeling quite Christmassy here with the uh, Christmas tree um, lights are on not too bad just in case you're wondering that's a that's a tailor's dummy that belongs to uh, my stepdaughter she's moved but uh, still hasn't um, taken it away so I guess I'll be stuck with that for a while seem to be storing most of their stuff so uh, yeah just wanted to take the opportunity to uh, say happy Christmas to everyone and give you not much to report at the moment I mean there's not point not much point making plenty of videos at this time of the year because really there's no growth happening um, everything's dormant outside you see I've got various fig trees out there and a large pomegranate and a couple of jujubes and I've got some persimmons as well I've bought but they're all dormant so nothing to report there. You can see what a mess the garden is but I shall gradually tackle that this summer and get it a bit more presentable. More updates to come in the uh, late winter when things hopefully start growing. Uh, that's Lionheart84 out. hope everybody enjoys the rest of their Christmas and a Happy New Year to everyone in advance as well. Thank you for listening. Bye.